Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to install OpenCV on your Windows operating system and how to configure it with Visual Studio. So let's get started. First of all, what is OpenCV? OpenCV is a set of uh, libraries which is generally used for real-time computer vision and it mainly focuses on real-time image processing. So if you have uh, some uh, project which aims to uh, do image processing, then it's a very good library. So let's install uh, OpenCV on your system. So just open your browser and write here OpenCV. And first link you will see here is OpenCV.org. And here you can see the list, latest version of OpenCV. At the time of making this video, the latest version is 2.4.7. So we are going to download the same. So just click this download button and just choose this first option open CV for Windows. And when you click it, it will open the open source, uh, uh, source forge link and you will be able to download the file. So this file is a little bit a big file about 2 GB so it will take a few minutes to download. So I have already downloaded this file you can see it here and let's uh, configure this file and install it on our system. So I will just click this and it will open this uh, run command and just run it and here is the important step when it asks for uh, the location where you want to extract this uh, file just provide here C folder so you want to extract this file at your C folder right and just click extract and it will start extracting your file once you are done with the extraction in your C folder, you will be able to see this uh, OpenCV folder created. And just when you go inside that folder, you will have this build folder and source folder. So you can uh, build uh, this uh, OpenCV library for Visual Studio by using, for example, CMake and you can use it with Visual Studio 2010 but I'm going to show you the simple way by using these built libraries and uh, we are going to use these DLL. So let's uh, change the name of this uh, folder first because OpenCV continuously keep on releasing the new versions so if you have the newer version you will be able to uh, extract that file in your C folder so I will just rename this uh, folder as OpenCV 247 because it's uh, version 2.4.7 right now we are going to uh, set our in environment variable so that uh, when we use it with Visual Studio the DLL files will be automatically recognized so just go to your start button here and just right click your computer and click on properties and here it will open this window so just go to advanced system settings and here click environment variables and here in system variables here just search for path this path and just double click it and here you need to add the path to the DLL files so let's see where we have so go to your build folder so first of all this is my OpenCV 247 folder then I will go to build folder and here I have x86 folder and here I have two options Visual Studio 2010 and Visual Studio 2011 I will choose VC10 
for Visual Studio 2010. And here we I have this bin folder. I will go inside, and here we have the DLL files. So I will just copy the this path, whole path here, and I will go to the setting of path and I will just after this whatever your path is given just provide a semicolon here and paste your path which is C and your OpenCV directory then build slash x86 slash vc10 slash bin and click OK and click OK once again and click OK once again. OK so now we are done with the configuration of environment variable. So let's uh, create a Visual Studio C++ program and uh, let's see how we can use this with Visual Studio 2010. So I have opened already Visual Studio 2010. I will just go to file here. Click on file and new new project and here I will go to here Visual C++ Windows 32 console application and here I will make a project called open CV test for example and I will click OK and it will open one more dialog box for uh, asking which kind of uh, project you want so just click next here and we are going to make a empty project so just click this empty project and finish click finish here and it will take some time to finish okay so our project is made and what we need to do is now we need to do some configuration to use this OpenCV with this project so what you need to do is just go to your project in your solution explorer just right click your project name right click and just click properties here and here you will be able to see this uh, VC++ directory and linker here. So what you need to do is go to this VC++ directories and here go to include directories. Just click it and click this button here and just click add it here. And we, here we are going to add uh, the include file from OpenCV. So just click this button and we are going to just click this button once again and we browse for the OpenCV file. So go to your C folder where you have extracted your OpenCV file. So this is my file OpenCV247 and here I will go to build and I will go to include and don't go further just include this this uh, file path till include and just click select and you will be able to see this C slash OpenCV247 slash build slash include click OK and then just go to this library directories and just click edit once again and just click this new line and click this button once again and once again browse your C folder and then open CV 247 and build and now go to this x86 folder and we see 10 and then select lib so just go here and select it and click OK and it's good to select one more directory so just once again after this uh, VC10 lib uh, folder once again click this button new line 
select this button and once again go to this C folder and open CV build x86 VC10 and select this bin folder also okay and select folder so you have this open CV build x86 slash VC10 bin bin folder and you have this open CV 247 build slash x86 slash vc10 slash lib folder also and click ok and is it ok no we need to add uh, the libraries also so go to here linker and go here input and go to additional dependencies here and just click it and add it and here you need to uh, add this libraries so if you go to your uh, open cv folder this is my open cv folder where bin folder is there and in x86 vc10 and in bin folder there are some dll files so i want to link this libraries with my visual studio c++ console program right so in my C++ program I need to write uh, or, or link these libraries so what I will do is I will uh, paste the library ne libraries names here and don't worry I will uh, provide the list of all these libraries in the description so you just need to copy all these uh, libraries and paste it here one important thing uh, to remember here is this for example we have this opencv underscore core and then we have the version which we have downloaded so we have downloaded the version 2.4.7 so here the library name will be opencv underscore core 247 for the version 2.4.7 so if you have another version for example if you have 2.4.8 then you need to change this library name to 248 okay and uh, this D after the this number symbolizes that we are going to link this uh, libraries to our debug uh, compiler so here make sure this is debug here right and this D indicates that we are making it as a debug uh, compiled library so if you delete this d from here you need to change this debug to release folder so just remember that and click ok and click apply and then click ok and one more thing we can do here is in your general folder here just for to be on the safer side just click on use library dependency input as yes and now click apply and click ok now once we are done with these include and libraries uh, configuration we are going to make a new cpp file so just click right click your source file and add new item and just click this c++ file which is dot cpp and we name it as main dot cpp file okay so give uh, your file name as main dot cpp and just click add and we have this main.cpp file here so if you have uh, done your configuration correctly then you will be able to include these open CV, cv libraries in your project so go at the top and write include and write open cv right so you now can recognize this open cv directories and just choose 
cv.h and just close it and once again we are going to include one more directory which is include open cv and then hi gui.h and close it and now we are going to make our main program or oh, first of all just write here using namespace cv so we don't need to use cv namespace again and again and just write int main and just close this and in this main we are going to write a program so for example I am going to write a program to open a image and then whatever you want to do with image you can do it so this is just a sample that our libraries are working so let's see so I, I will uh, write some code here which is like this so this is just a sample program to test whether my OpenCV libraries are working or not so maybe this sample program also I will provide in the link in the description below so you can just click the link and just copy this program to check here one thing to notice here is this image path so whatever image you want to analyze just give your path here and just we are ready to run and compile our libraries so let's see if it compiles or not so I will compile I will go to build and I will say build solution and it's done I think right so build is successful now one more thing you need to do is so I will run the program and I will show the problem first and then I will so show the solution so just run your program and it's running now so you have done your configuration correct okay and this was the image I want to sh see in this uh, uh, folder so that's why I have uh, given the path of this file and if this uh, program shows some error then your linkage from the libraries is not correct so just for uh, the other solution what you can do is if you cannot link this uh, program with the library just right click your project folder and go to the property not in the properties but right click it once again and go to open folder in windows explorer and it will open the project folder and just go to one step back and just go here in the debug folder and in here you will be having your executable file so if it shows some error related to DLL files then what you need to do is just go to this folder where you have installed OpenCV then build then go to x86 vc10 and then bin and just copy all the file DLL files from here copy all the DLL files from here go to your project and wherever you have your executable file paste all the DLL files here so it will link to those DLL files and you will not see the error related to DLL if it shows the error related to DLL but right now our configurations are right so we don't need to add those DLL files so in this way you can install and configure OpenCV with your Visual Studio 2010. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please keep watching these videos and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.